All right, in this video, you can watch along as I install a heated visor kit on a 2015 Skidoo Rev XS model sled. You can see the part number that I purchased from BRP right there. The products uh, that come in the kit are the wiring harness itself. We've got, uh, I think it's called a stress relief connection. We've got a, um, a, a tab here, zip tie to tie everything together, a little protective cap that will go over the connector here, um, and then they even include a nice little sticker to put on the dashboard. So watch along as we install this today. So to accomplish this installation, I'm going to install the heated helmet or the heated visor plug just uh, to the north here of the uh, key slot here. So we're going to need to drill a hole through this panel. And to access that, I'm going to take off the windshield. I'm going to take off the right side uh, engine or the shroud here on the side. And then I'll also show you how we pull off uh, this front part of the hood to make accessing this panel a little bit easier. It's not too difficult. Follow along. First thing we'll do is pop off the windshield. These are actually pretty easy to do. They're just held in place by pressure clips. So I'm going to start from the front here, work my way over this side, just kind of gently lift these up. And over on the left side, I'll just work my way around and pop off these clips. Two on the side here, two on the other side here. Get into the right place, trying to reach around here. There we go, that pops right off. Next, we'll take off the right side engine cover, this shroud here, pop this off. Get that out of the way. Next thing I'll do is I'm going to remove the six Torx bolts. These two here, these two here, and there's two on the front side of the instrument panel. Uh, they're nice, chrome, easy to see, but they all look just like this. I'm going to remove these six, which will allow me a little more access to the wiring that I need to get at. Now that I've got the six Torx head bolts off, and those are T25 size, by the way, I can pull off this instrument panel cover. And I've got two clips here, one for the Speedo and for the instruments that I can take off. Um, actually, just the one for the Speedo. I'll take that one off, and that'll allow me to take the entire gauge cluster out of the way. All right, we're getting close here. Um, we're going to mount the heated visor plug right about here, but to get to the wiring harness that's below this panel, I do want to take off, or I'm going to take off, that is, um, this front cover as well, the hood. So to do that, I've got four more of the Torx head um, screws, one here, one down here, and two on the other side. I'll take those out. We'll be able to lift this whole hood off as well. So you can see now with the hood off, we have great access now not only to uh, the panel where we're going to mount the heated visor plug in, um, but also we've got lots of room in here in the engine bay. Um, by the way, uh, there's your fuel or your oil filter canister right in there. Make sure you check out my other videos if you want to see how I did an oil change and spark plug change on this rig as well. Um, but we've also got, right here, we've got the wire harness for the uh, heat advisor. So that's handy, it's just waiting, and that's why we're going to install it right up here on the top of this panel. So I'm just going to get this panel kind of popped out here to make it a little easier to work on. Alright, so rather than try to remove this entire panel, which is really a bugger to get off, um, what I did was I measured one inch on center just north of uh, the key attachment um, and with a, started with a pilot hole and ended up drilling a half inch hole right here super carefully is what I did. Um, so now I can take my uh, connector here. I've got a ring terminal that I can just slide over it and then from underneath I'm going to place that up through. 
the hole that I've drilled and then my cap also contains a um, the connector so I'm just going to screw that connector on over now that we've got everything in place I've cleaned up the connection that was already provided by BRP when they manufactured the sled put a little grease in there click it shut and then I'm going to clip I'm really going to clip but I'm going to wire use the included wire tie to kind of connect everything in here and keep it out of the way um, so it doesn't get damaged in some way in this case I'm just going to go through this ventilation hose I believe kind of get that relatively tight and we'll be good to go there we go trim that off so here we see the final product I've got the little indicator sticker placed on in case we forget that it's for the heated shield plug I've got my cover here and I've got my little stub cord here that I'll put in place just so you can see um, but for the off season and when I'm not riding I'll probably just pop that out put the protective cover over it and we're gonna call this one good I hope you like the video at this point I'm just gonna put everything back together in the reverse order of taking it apart if you'd like me to keep making videos like this please hit the subscribe button below enter your comments uh, anything helpful is always helpful and uh, we'll see you on the trails